Hurricane Douglas continues to push towards the Hawaiian Islands this morning, 6 a.m. in Hawaii. The storm was located at 19.1 degrees north, 148.4 degrees west. The storm continues to push towards the Hawaiian Islands, where hurricane warning for hurricane watches, I should say, are in effect. Right now, the storm has winds of 105 miles per hour and a pressure of 975 millibars. It's moving west-northwest at 18 miles per hour, and it's at stage 2 on the CDPS scale. On the CDPS scale, the rainfall is the main threat from the system, and we could see several inches of rainfall there, significant if the storm were to strike land areas. This is where the storm is located right now, far away from Mexico, but relatively close to Hawaii. It's moving towards, it's closing in on the Hawaiian Islands rather quickly. It should be making landfall, or could make landfall, in around 36 to 48 hours from now. Right now the storm is located 440 miles away from Hilo, 635 from Honolulu, 500 from Kona, 540 from Kahului, and 750 from Kauai. A hurricane watch remains in effect for Hawaii County, Maui County, and Oahu, including Honolulu. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Hawaii and Maui counties, and a tropical storm watch for Kauai County, all those in Hawaii. This is what the intensity is looking like right now. ADT values significantly lower, probably due to the, to the presence, probably not due to the presence of an eye. However, Recon says that the storm is much higher, around 100 miles per hour, and we are in agreement with the NHC right now on a rather generous estimate of 105 miles per hour. The storm could, should continue to weaken as it pushes towards the Hawaiian Islands, as seen on the National Hurricane Center's forecast. The 36 hour point, which is marked as 2 p.m. Sunday on there, has it near the Hawaiian Islands with winds of 75 miles per hour, and then continuing to slowly weaken as it pushes off towards the west and away from the islands. This is our rainfall looking over the next few days based on the HWRF model, which actually does not call for a landfall. So if it does go based on this model to the north of the islands, then a majority of the rainfall would indeed stay offshore and we wouldn't really be seeing much effect from this storm right, in terms of rainfall from the storm, but we have to see. Sea surface temperatures right now are fair for the storms, 26 Celsius right now under the storm. They do rise when they get near, when the storm gets near Hawaii. However, shear also continues to rise as the storm nears Hawaii, which will induce weakening on the storm will eventually kill it off as it moves off towards the International Date Line. This is how the models are saying track-wise right now. The CPHC is going quite in the middle of that right now, calling for a landfall near on one of the islands. However, the, C the GFS model and the HWF model are a little bit further north than what the CPHC right now. However, where the storm goes completely remains to be seen. This is what the model forecast is saying right now for the storm. Shear continues to rise as seen in the top right corner. Sea surface temperatures are going to rise but shear will ultimately kill it. And relative humidity continues to drop. So conditions are gradually becoming unfavorable for the storm right now. However, it is slowly weakening. This is how the storm looks right now in satellite imagery. There is no eye. There, it looked fantastic a few days ago probably a mid-range Category 4 at peak, I'd argue. However, the storm is only a Category 2 right now and is moving towards the Hawaiian Islands. We'll have more on this storm over the next few days as it pushes towards the Hawaiian Islands and on Hannah as it pushes inland near Texas over the next few days. You can watch our automated stream right now on, under our YouTube page. Stay tuned for latest information. You can follow Forest 13's outlets. You can check out our new cyclone tracker on our website, forest-13.com forward slash cyclone tracker. You can also follow us on youtube.com forward slash forest13. Subscribe if you haven't. You can follow us on Facebook for more updates on there, as well as Twitter. We also do publish updates on there as well. You can become an ultimate fan of our YouTube channel to see the full list of YouTube benefits. 
visit youtube.com forward slash forms 13 forward slash join. With a special thanks to our ultimate fans and our patrons this month as they continue to bring funds towards our way. You can also check out our growing merch store at store.force13.com as well. It continues to grow to this day. You can also check out our Discord server using the link in the description below.